for a lot of people, the concern is, well, what is heritage? You know, and whose heritage are we talking about? You know, is it that we don't remember or we wish to forget about um, things which are not very savoury, yeah? You know, of course, we, we love the beauty queens. You know, sometimes someone is, is, is a beauty queen. You know, we love that kind of thing. But what about something less uh, glamorous, less attractive? You know, talking about the seedier side of, 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 of life. But isn't that what life is about? I mean, isn't that what community is? is isn't that sort of also as a reminder that, you know, there's the good and there's the bad. It started being built in 1891, so it was quite a long time ago, if you think about it. And given that Kuala Lumpur was a really modern Kuala Lumpur in terms of its built heritage, but in terms of, you know, the, con the, 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 the brick structures that we see, were really from the 1880s would be the earliest. So 1891 is a very early structure for KL. It was designed by the same engineer, the same PWD engineer, as the person who designed uh, the Sultan Abdul Samad building. They were large structures, of course, you know, and, and, and one was, of course, the Sultan Samad building is the seat of government, so to speak, you know, it. and then there's this other building, which makes a statement, I suppose, about a justice system on a large site. And again, the records go back to, to actually saying the property was bought and then building this building based on a form of a, a, a jail, which was taken from Kandy in Sri Lanka. So it's in this sort of X shape where the cells would have been. But then there were other buildings within that ensemble of buildings and that all of that would have been covered by, you know, surrounded by the wall. The, a range of these sorts of structures as you would with, with, within a prison. Is it only for the authorities to decide? Is it only for government to decide? You know, or should there not be more conversation in some way with the general? Because if you look at this Puru Jail thing, what is interesting about it is that Previously, when there were other buildings that were being demolished in KL, and what what would we say would be would have been the most um, you know significant difference? Yeah, is that in those cases, um, well, not so much Bok House, but I would say in terms of BBGS and maybe the Eastern Hotel and some of the other structures, there was less public outcry. I would say is that you know if you don't listen to what people consider to be important to their identity and you know Puru Jail is not something which is a, a good memory yeah on the other hand it was a fantasy if you think about it you know somebody spent a year painting that wall this Chinese prisoner you know and if you look at the green beach, you know, pastoral scene that he painted. I just think, you know, as a psychologist, if one was a psychologist, it would be really quite interesting to, to and you know, the freedom and the escape of that particular, you know, piece of artwork, so to speak, you know, getting into the Guinness Book of Records. It must have been important enough, you know, for somebody to say, hey, 384 meter long canvas, you know, um, and then now we say it's not heritage and now we say it's not important.